Bitcoin is a bank in cyberspace. Monetary energy. Or of the earth. Doubles every year. Listen to my words. Selling doesn't hurt. Selling is absurd. It's like cutting of your wings, but you want to be a bird. Welcome back, guys. Um, let's have a little look and see what the market is doing. Um, right now, we're looking at the coin market cap. As you can see, we're hovering around the 1.36, uh, 1.3 billion, basically. The volume, daily volume for the global market cap has dropped, unfortunately. BTC is struggling. Um, it is fighting a little bit, and I'll show you a little bit more about this. Um, Ethereum, I feel sorry for. It is taking a hit, unfortunately. Um, obviously, let's not even talk about it, more scam coins. But um, the volume today um, kind of dropped off. So yesterday we had about 50 billion um, on the 24-hour volume. It's dropped a little bit to 32 billion. But, and this is quite good. So we're looking at some hidden um, um, hidden uh, indicators and everything, right? So what we want to do is let's find the, so this is the market cap. And as you can see, we are currently, um, we did go and touch this particular level. We want to go up a little bit more. Now I want to show you this particular range here. So when we're looking at this little range here from where we were to where we are, we can see that we've got a long ways to go, at least another week or two until um, we break this particular level. So we need to break above this line and this. So this is more of a convergence line. If we can break this, we should be okay. Um, the, you know, so let's see what happens. I mean, for now, we just got to wait and see. Yesterday, you can see when we uh, pumped, we had an, uh, a little bit of a dump in the BTC dominance. That is because the altcoins did take over. Okay, altcoins definitely took over um, for a little bit. We had like 30, 40% pumps on uh, the altcoins. Now let's find the chart we want to talk about. So let's talk about this particular chart today. And what I'll do is I'll make this chart um, available on the public link so you can also see this and what I'm seeing basically. So we're going to go on a, a shorter time frame um, to see what's happening. So we can see that, you know, on a four hourly, um, we've been bouncing around this particular area. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, just before we go there, let's have a look at the daily. And I want to show you something that I'm seeing. So the daily, right, we have this one candle here, which is a bullish reversal candle. This is also a bullish reversal candle. This is also a bullish reversal candle on the daily, as we can see so far. Um, we just need to see the same level of data on the um, um, the four hourly or hourly any lower time frame basically so here you can see we had a bullish cap reversal candle and continued um, to be bullish uh, very much bullish but and this is what I want to show you all right so this was the bullish nature we saw right we were all bullish here from this point onward we became very bullish and we went up currently we're slightly overbought right and this um, I mean not overbought but on the uh, stochastic RSI is indicating that basically we might be seeing a little bit of a bounce we might be coming back into this zone um, and we might even possibly come and drop here so what we're looking for is I, I want to go on it's even lower time frame and show you a few bits and bobs um, that I see like I'll talk about hidden um, hidden uh, indicators right so what we're looking at and I want to show you this right so I'm using the stochastic to let me know when I should enter when I should so right now I should not be entering I should stay out this is what this is indicating to me telling me stay out because uh, we, we might see another drop and come down here so if we do come down here this is, would be an opportunity to buy so I'm using the stochastic to do this and with the RSI relative uh, strength indicator what I'm seeing is this um, so yesterday I saw this basically. Sorry, one second. Yesterday uh, I was looking and I was uh, I was like, okay, what's the story right now? So this is a hidden bullish signal that we can see, right? We did have a bearish signal. Uh, this is the bearish signal that we kind of had, right? So we were, if you look from here on a longer term, we had a bearish signal and we crossed over the bearish signal. We're on a bullish signal right now. And we want to go into this territory to say that we are overbought. If we are overbought, it should be good. So coming back to this this volume um, is representing more of a bullish nature so that means there was more buying in this than selling so we we take this and we say well, let's translate this because we don't know whether it was buying or selling in this volume what do we see when we go to the rsi where we can see we had more buying in this particular zone All right so this is what we're seeing right now this is more buying um, also we can activate the volume 
to see that some volume is coming back right so we can see some volume is coming back on the shorter time frames not as much but just enough right so we can excuse that for now but we're looking at this particular level as long as we bounce around here so we see this rsi bouncing here here and then maybe come up to here it should be a good opportunity for the market to be bullish however we see this particular area here was it's saying that uh, we're slightly above the mark that we should be and we could be expecting to see a complete reversal these are hidden signals that you have so we might be coming back down here somewhere right and this will kind of follow this lead as well so as long as we stay above this particular you know middle line here this middle zone here i call it the 50 level as long as we stay around this particular level we should be okay currently we're at uh, what are we at uh, so we went peak two to 60 which is good we want it to be in this particular territory um, but in the short time we will see something like this so do expect this these are the hidden signals that we do not see a lot of the time um, as we are focusing too much on the other stuff that we see now on the short term i did put a fibonacci um yesterday now let's get rid of the one second let's get rid of this Right, let's get rid of this. Let's uh, bring this chart up. Right, so uh, these are the hidden things we're seeing. So when we're looking at the uh, shorter time frame, so the shorter time frame I'm actually working from uh, it's actually from this from the 14th uh, of June candle. So I'm just working on this short time frame, and I'm saying, okay, what do we need to do? Where do we need to go? So as you can see, if we can get the RSI to be a little bit more bullish, we might get this here. Also, I'm seeing another hidden pattern on the shorter time frame. So this is on the hourly. I'm seeing this particular uh, pattern almost playing out. It needs to fulfill itself. Let's see what happens there. Um, but other than that, there are other patterns we're also seeing as well. For example, on this short time frame, if you look carefully, you can see that we, we just broke above this mini trend line. So this is a micro trend line, right? not even mini, because we've got a mini one. This is a micro trend line within the wedge. So we're still in the wedge, but we see a micro trend line breaking. Now, we also see a new trend line forming, which is from this location to this location, and it seems to be following the path, right? So when we're looking at all of this, we can see that what we will be expecting is while all of these uh, candles uh, bounce around, we might be expecting this. So when we look at this and when we look at this, we can see that we are going to be possibly playing this pattern. So in the short term, we are going to be moving back into the bearish territory. It's going to look bearish. Um, but as long as we can hold on to this line and hold on to this particular line here, we should go back into this overbought territory. If we do go into this overbought territory, we know the market is going bullish and then all of this is confluence telling us we're going there. So, so far, we only see one divergence here, one divergence. This is confluence, this is confluence, and also it confirms that most of the volume here is the buying volume. So this is uh, another way of actually um, like kind of when you're opening trades and this and that, something I don't show too much, but it's another way of finding um, areas saying, okay, if are we moving up in a mini time, time frame? And we can see the confirmation. Yes, we are. We're moving back up. Um, this is the bearish um, signal that we were seeing. Are we seeing that bearish signal here as well? So all of this is confirmation that this is what is showing here. This is exactly what's happening here in the market as well. So, and then when we see this action here, when we're making a prediction, we can also see that we're all, uh, about to do the same thing here as well. All right, so the same pattern is playing out here as well. But the hidden um, pattern that we do not see is this stochastic RSI is telling us that we are in the um, slightly higher territory. We are going to take a little dip and we're going to come back down. So for the short term, we will come back down here. If anyone wants to buy, I would personally say just wait for this particular. So we might not know how far down we're going to go, but we can use this particular zone here, this area here to um, actually tell us what we need to do. Right. So as long as we come below this, great buy opportunity is fine now most highly um we are going to be bouncing on this let's hope so let's hope we bounce on this i mean if we don't we we still got this trend line here to bounce on so we might be bouncing on this particular line we don't know so we will have to look out for the patterns um as i said if anybody hasn't been buying or anything like this just be patient um you know if you look if you're a short-term investor but if you're a long-term investor that's a different story um this is the opportunity as i've said it's going to be the opportunity of the time um so we might bounce around this levels here so what we might see is a pattern like this but ultimately it doesn't matter because um you know we're still if as long as we can keep above this line as long as we can keep above this particular trend line we should be okay um, so it, the, the market sentiment is showing it wants to uh, on the longer time frame we are going down but on a shorter time frame we see this and this hidden signal gives us enough information saying that the market is reacting 
and we are more positive, more bullish in the market right now since the 22nd of June. We've been more and more bullish. And when we start moving over to the higher time frames, we can also see this same information being relayed back to us. Right. So this is the hidden one saying, actually, we were bullish here. Now we need to get down. This one saying we are going to come down or while everything else is saying we are going to go up. Right. On the daily, as you can see, the hidden one is playing out. It's saying, OK, right now we want to on this daily one is saying, OK, we've got enough opportunity to go up. So on the shorter time frames, what you see here is we are going to go down. So in the hourly, we are going to go down. When you're looking at the four hourly, it's saying we have to go down. Right. All of this is indicating we have to go down. But because the daily candle is not closed yet, it's indecisive. Technically, if you can see here, it is actually very, very. In, uh, sorry, let me get rid of this. Right, let's go into this. So what you're looking at is here is kind of indecisive right on the daily right now if we do follow the stochastic rsi the best stochastic rsi to follow is actually the weekly and as you can see on the weekly we are bearish all right so in the weekly we are bearish on the weekly if we enter into this particular zone here if we re-enter and we go into this zone here right and then hover up all the way up here trust me this is going to be explosive but we haven't seen that yet as you can see here these are weekly all right so you can see that it's been a long time each line each time i'm moving a vertical line this is weekly so for the past few weeks you can see this hidden signal is telling us we're very very bearish we need to get back in here in order to show bullishness right so i hope that kind of makes sense what i'm showing to you um so yeah on the rsi it's a different story you can see in the middle on the weekly but we want to when you're looking at the rsi we want to look at the daily time frames okay which is uh, a very good indicator for us and lower time frames is actually even better because what we're doing is we're seeing right now currently so we're saying in this particular hour this is what's going on this is what we need to see when we're using the stochastic rsi i want to use a higher time frame in the lower time frame we can only predict by looking at this saying well, is this down here or is this up there? If this is up there, it means it's gonna come down. And if it's down, then uh, it's gonna, uh, so if it's up here, it's gonna come down. And if it's down here, it's gonna go up. That's all we can see on the hourly, nothing more. So everything's confirming that there's a slight bit of a, a bearish action here. Um, but overall, as I said, overall, uh, on the weekly time frame, um, it doesn't look that great right now. So you see this area here, it doesn't look that great. We need to get back up and we need to go into these uh, special levels, special zones, I'll call it, right, where we will see the reversal. So there's a lot going on, a lot going on. Uh, we just have to be patient and see where it goes. Um, let's see. So far, we have a lower eye on the weekly. Uh, not so happy. However, I want to show you something else, actually. This is uh, quite cool. On the monthly, this is the bottom of the candle. On the monthly, this is forming to be uh, kind of bullish and also it's quite cool because we had this massive candle here and this candle is not as big as this there's been more bullish action in this one than we had in this one so this is actually very good even though the wick is quite short but the bullish action has made sure that this candle is not as long or big like this the body is very small so quite happy seeing that um you know so far everything looks good market seems to be doing what it's doing on the daily um, the higher highs are much very good so for example I'll show you what I mean so you got three higher highs right which is very very good and as I said these candles had all the bullish action here bullish action here this one's also got a bullish action let's see how we close the day um, hopefully if we can close the day above this, this is good then we've got a chance to close tomorrow's day above this and move back up right um, but in the short term as I said the bearish trends right these bearish trends are still in play so we just have to focus and uh, see what happens. If you're not trading, please, please, please do not trade because right now trading anything is very, very risky. Okay, you do not wanna be trading. If you're buying and holding, then uh, it's not a bad idea, go for it. If you're not, then I suggest uh, stay away, right? So I'll just take the drawings off just to show you what we're seeing, right? So this is the patterns we're seeing, right? Um, yeah, other than that, I'm not going to say anything else. Um, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on another one very soon. Just a quick short update. Nothing more, guys. Um, I hope this kind of helps and uh, see you on another one. Adios.